Hey there, my name is Martin Kutzer. I'm a content developer at Microsoft Learning Experiences. I'm responsible for Office 365, Exchange, SharePoint, and Skype for Business Training. We've put together a dedicated course on Exchange Server 2016 transitioning. In this course, we're going to discuss topics like how do you upgrade to Exchange Server 2016. There's certain things that you need to know. For example, you cannot have Exchange 2007 in your environment and you need to be rid of those servers before you introduce Exchange Server 2016. Then we're going to cover how do you coexist with previous versions of Exchange. Exchange 2016 can coexist with Exchange 2013 and Exchange 2010. So how do you set up that coexistence? How do you make sure that when some users are still on 2010 and some users are on 2016, that everything will work together well? Then we'll cover how do you do the transport cutover. So one point in time, mail might come into your Exchange Server 2010 side. And at another point in time, you want to redirect that mail to go to the 2013 or to the 2016 side. So you need to plan for that cutover. And then how do you move resources like mailboxes, your resource rooms, as well as public folders? How do you move those resources to 2010 and when is the right time to move them? And then finally, the most important part of your upgrade project is to decommission your old services. How do you decommission your old servers and make sure that there's not anything left over from those old servers that's going to bite you later? So take this course. If you're planning to go to Exchange Server 2016, we'll cover everything in detail around the transitioning to Exchange Server 2016.